The other day I went out walking in my neighborhood. I just wanted to get out a little bit and stretch my legs. And as I went out, I was struck that I got no further than my own yard. When I encountered the forsythia bush in my backyard, coming back to life, that shrub of sticks now had little yellow flowers beginning to bud on it. And I stayed there for a while and just took in that beautiful sight of the tree coming back to life. I walked down the street around the corner and came past my neighbor's yard. My neighbor's yard has a forested area and in the, between the trees, all kinds of daffodils have sprung up. And the yellow and white flowers were in bloom. There are multiple kinds of daffodils there. And I just took a deep breath and looked at those beautiful spring flowers. So the earth is coming back to life. And it struck me so much that I, I snapped a quick picture so I could send it to some other friends so that they could see. Beauty. We encounter it in so many ways. And on that day, as I was going out walking, I kept finding it in my own neighborhood. But we often don't think about how important beauty is for the spiritual dimension of our life, how it touches our inner spirit, how it nourishes us and, and causes our lives to change and deepen and grow. So that's what I want to talk about today, beauty and how we encounter it. And as I do that, I want to invite you to subscribe to this channel and be sure to click that bell so you're notified of further videos. Beauty. It's an odd concept for us to think about, but beauty is around us in music and in art and in nature and in so many other places. When we encounter something that's beautiful, our day-to-day, -day, our ordinary sense of awareness changes. We pause and we take it in and it's, it may create a sense of awe in us. It may cause us to wonder. It, it strikes us and it strikes an inner core for us. And after that encounter with beauty, we move into our life, back into our life in a different way because it's changed us. It both inspires us and pulls us out of ourselves, but yet we also return to ourselves with something new added, this imminent peace that comes into us that's part of beauty and resonates within us. And so that it gives us a greater sense of wholeness, a sense of completeness. So it's out of that wonder, that appreciation of beauty, that we find ourselves becoming more whole and more complete. It's no wonder then that the Navajo people, the Native American people who call themselves the Diné, hold beauty in a special place. It's a foundational concept in their culture. The word for it is hajan. And we translate it as beauty in English but it has a, a much wider meaning, a richer meaning. It, 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 it conveys beauty and wholeness and integration. It's about balance. And the traditional beauty chant invites a person to appreciate the beauty, which is before us and behind us and to the right and to the left, above us and below us, and to walk in beauty. And even as we walk in beauty, we encounter the beauty around us. And I talk about this Navajo perspective in the video, Living in Beauty. But one of the things I want to talk about right now is how beauty is something that we need to experience within ourselves. It's one thing to see beauty around us. And you know, traditional religion understood the importance of beauty. Houses of worship were decorated with art and, and prized themselves on good music so that people could be awe-inspired and taken out of themselves. But there's beauty in who we are. 
And we often don't learn to appreciate that beauty. Oh, you may be thinking, I think well enough of myself. I know I'm, I'm a fine person. But do you really think you're beautiful? When you're wet and coming out of the shower and get a glimpse of yourself in the bathroom mirror, what do you focus on? What occurs to you? Is it the flaws? Because sure, we all have physical flaws. And as we're aging, you know, gravity seems to take over and there are more flaws there. Or do you appreciate that there's beauty? Are you able to look in the mirror and affirm that there's beauty in front of you? See, of course there's beauty in front of you. There's beauty and wonder. And beauty and wonder just isn't outside of us. It isn't just around us in art and music, but it's also inside of us. And how can it not be otherwise? Remember the words of astrophysicist Carl Sagan, who always said, we are made of the stuff of the stars. The beauty of the stars are who we are. It's the same material that makes us. And that's literally true, but there's a metaphoric dimension that I think is important. That light and brilliance and wonder we associate with the stars, well, that's also part of us. And our spiritual traditions have captured that for us in terms of talking about our having an inner light, an inner brilliance, reflecting the divine, that there's something about us that's greater than just the sum of our parts, that's about that wonder inside of us that's truly beautiful. Russian Metropolitan Anthony Bloom would tell a story about a Russian Orthodox monk, a small, frail man who lived in a wooden cabin off from the monastic community on his own. And his cabin was falling apart and inside were just, you know, bare minimum, bare wood pieces for him to, as a bed and a chair and not much else, no artwork, nothing, nothing that we would associate with beauty. And someone asked this old monk who was hobbled by arthritis, how he could live in such a place because there was nothing beautiful about it. And the story goes that he lit up and said, I'm surrounded by beauty. And he touched his hand and said, and beauty is within me. He understood that beauty is around us, it's within us, that we move in beauty. And it's that beauty that has the potential to draw us out of ourselves and be transforming in our lives. And that begins when we appreciate beauty in so many of its different forms, whether it's art or music, or, or I was just watching the Olympic Games and seeing the beauty in the athletes, not only the figure skaters, but the snowboarders on the half pipe flying in the air 15, 16, 17 feet and twirling and twisting. It was beautiful and awe-inspiring. And as we take that in, we can begin to appreciate that we too are beautiful people. And as we grow in that appreciation, our lives are transformed more and more to be the people we were made to be, reflecting goodness and hope and beauty. Thanks for being here today. I really appreciate it. Subscribe to the video, click that bell, share the video with others, and be sure to leave me some comments. Tell me about how you experience beauty in life. I'm really curious and have a really great day. Thank you.